And we're waiting to hear from Delaware County officials with their response to COVID-19. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is live in media right now with more on the situation there. Alicia. Jessica, it's extremely quiet in media right now, and it's been like that for most of the day. Businesses are open, but turnout has been low. It appears people here are taking this pandemic seriously. I am ready to be on lockdown. I've been on lockdown for before. Tawala Johnson may have gotten all her shopping done, but some families are still figuring it out. I'm a little kind of scared. The coronavirus pandemic can be scary. To err on the side of caution, Governor Tom Wolf mandated a two week school closure statewide. Two weeks is a long time. Some families are scrambling to figure out how their children will manage virtual classes. It's just like really confusing, but it is a, a little stressful because like I, I have to do work on the computer, but I don't have a computer at home. My district, we were talking about the online. We're not approved to do online, technically, and there's about 20% of our population that doesn't even have Wi-Fi. So there's a lot of like unanswered questions that, you know, I'm kind of a laid back person. I'm going to go with the flow. I said it's, it's more important that people are safe. In addition to schools shutting down, local businesses are already seeing the effects. Right now, it looks like a ghost town when it's usually their busiest time of the week. All the, uh, you know, employees that depend on gratuity, it's, it's bad for them. We are waiting for this press conference that should be starting in about half an hour. Okay, Alicia, a quick question for you. What do parents of school children need to know this weekend? Because this kind of caught everyone a little off guard this afternoon because it was so late. Absolutely. From what we're hearing, SAT testing is canceled for most districts. Also, school plays and athletic activities have also been mostly canceled. And of course, stores will be opened. But if you are still waiting to do your shopping, although they're open, those shelves are bare. So you want to go out and try to get everything as soon as possible. Reporting live from media, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you for that. Health reporter.